it was hard. It was really, really hard. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> okay. Let me start from the beginning. So my cousin and I we were fresh into university. And of course, you know, when you were fresh um, into school, especially university or college, whatever you call it, where, whatever part of the world you were from, there was a rush for the year ones because they are fresh meats, like they call them, October rush. I think they used to be called, I don't know what they call them now. But people rushed in, everybody, you know. So there was this guy, he was after my cousin. He really liked her and he invited we were, you know, we're in school then, we're in med school. So he invited her over and she didn't want to go alone, of course, which was smart because you don't go alone to these kinds of places. You have to go with someone that's, you know, this was respectable as a lady and you never know who the person is. So we went together, but you know how the, 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 the hostel is, the dormitories where they kind of, everybody, especially in the boys' hostels, they partition the rooms, they call them um, with, um, I can't remember what we, what we used to call them in those days, but the rooms would be partitions and everybody had their corners, something called corners. So you partition it, you know, using some curtains that they put before the girls' hostel. We didn't quite do a lot of that. You know, we had corners, but we didn't use curtains. We just found it. But boys like to do that so that they can, you know, sometimes when their girlfriends come over, they wanted some privacy. And so my cousin and I went, and then we went to, you know, his corner. So it was two of us, and then we were talking and 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 all of that. So they wanted to, of course, it was in a room, so everybody was crowded. So he just wanted to have a, a word with her privately. So I said, okay. So she said, uh, because it was privately, I mean, I was okay to remain in his corner. So they stepped outside and they went to an open area, but you know, the balcony was an open area. They didn't go anywhere private or dark or, you know, sinister. So they, they stepped out briefly and they went to a corner and they were having a conversation. And I was just reading the magazine in the room, waiting for them to finish and come back. And then this other dude, was a very popular guy in school and he was fancying me but i didn't like him that much i mean he was okay i mean he was uh they used to have mr and mrs things i don't want to call the university but he was mr of that particular um it was a big department uh in school so he was mr that department so he, you know he felt he was mr popular who wouldn't like him but i didn't care for him you know i never had a boyfriend till that time so, you know, that boys were not really my thing. Um, so he came in, you know, he sat down and we started talking. He was like, hey, hi. I was like, hey, you know, I'm tempted. I don't know if I should call his name or not. But it starts with a P. I never forget. I'll never forget that guy. I'm going to forget him. Anyway, so he came in to the my friend's corner, my, my my cousins. We call them razzlers, the people who who are toasting you. So her her razzlers, toasters, corner. And then we were talking, and then you know he was like, "Hey, I knew he didn't like me, but you know, never I didn't go to his room to visit him." So I guess they were roommates, but he has his own corner. So he came in and was like, "Hey, what you doing?" And so I'm waiting for my cousin. And they just stepped out to talk. It was like, it was like, he liked me and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, thank you. And then he was coming really close. I'm like, hey, hey, what, what are you, what are you doing? Like, keep your distance. But he didn't want to keep his distance. So he kept coming close to me and I didn't like that. And then the next thing you know, he was putting his arm over my legs. And I'm like, dude, but he's a strong guy because he jeans. You know, so I'm like, dude, so while I was still forcing, he was trying to get himself. I think he was thinking maybe he could do a quick one before my cousin and, you know, and his, and her razzler comes back into the room. So in that hurry, I kind of used my knee and I hit him in his 
you know, in between his legs. And, you know, it can be quite painful. I can tell you, but the Holy Spirit just directed my knee to that spot and boom. And I think all of that pain went to his brain. So that pain, he kind of pulled back and I ran off. So I ran off and I, I took, there were two stairs. So I took one of the stairs. So he took the other one because he did feel he could catch me because I think whatever madness had entered his head had immediately left and he knew that he could get into trouble because he could get prosticated from school and he could get himself into he could use his reputation i think his sanity suddenly came back to him and he was like he's sorry blah 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 and let me tell you how bad it was how far up his hand went my panties got ripped that's how far his hand was because then I, I didn't I didn't grow up in a place where you wore trousers. I started, I started wearing trousers a little later in life, you know, because I was a church girl, you know, and you know, so I was more into the dresses and skirts, not really trousers. So of course I think I don't know what I was wearing, but it wasn't a trouser because if it was, he wouldn't, you know. So it wasn't. So it it got ripped and I my heart was pumping like to do to do to do to do to do it was just like I escaped I escaped I escaped what just happened what just happened I escaped what just happened and he ran he ran to me and he was like really sorry please I shouldn't tell anybody he's very sorry and I looked at him I said look just stay the hell away from me keep your distance don't talk to me don't look in my direction I'm going to act like this, this happened, but just stay the heck away from me. Leave me alone. Do you want us to keep on like this? I, I said, leave me alone. And so he looked around because now it's outside and he turned around and he walked away. And then later on, my cousin, after she was done, she didn't even know what was happening. So she came and she went back to the room. I was gone and she's like, hey, you were supposed to wait for me. How could you leave me alone there? I was like, you don't even know what happened. And then I told her, and she's like, are you see, how many minutes did we leave you? And I said, and she's like, and I, and I, and I brought out my, 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 my panty and I showed it to her. I kept that panty for a long time. It was the testimony of my escape. That was not what I envisaged going into university as a young lady girl, whatever you wanted to call me. As a young lady then that's not what i had in mind like but yes yes folks that's how i escaped being sexually molested as a freshman fresh woman in the university i was really close but i thank god i don't know where that panty is now but i kept it for a long time and every now and again, I'll bring it out and I'll look at it and I'll say, thank God. If you have any stories to share, please share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and share your stories. Um, let's celebrate uh, the victories because it counts. All right. Thank you. I will have another story time Wednesday next week. God bless you.